Hey guys, so I'm here to talk about, um, it's not a part two of anything, but, um, yeah, you saw my review for the Aaliyah movie, which I stated was fucking horrible. So I'm here to say that this morning on the Wendy show, yeah, like everybody else, I was waiting for that woman's response. And here's what I got to say to Miss Wendell Williams. You really are a foul, foul person. Why do I say this? Because the fact that she didn't even, how dare she come on her own show, live or no live. I can't even, like no lie guys, like I'm going to put this in randomly. Like thinking about the situation, I actually cried yesterday. Because I feel like Wendy is Wendell is not grasping the fact of it's not about stupid ratings. It's the fact that you disrespected Mrs. Aaliyah and rest her soul in peace. You disrespected her family's wishes and you just sitting there basically saying that you're washed anyway. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? People are not upset about the fact that we watched it. It's the fact that you misrepresented our precious Aaliyah in a bad light. The only thing you focused on was her and our Kelly when we, as the young generation, I'm only 20. I was, I'm just turned 20, like, November 2nd, Scorpios. But, um, sorry, random. It's not about that. Like, I didn't care about R. Kelly and Aaliyah. I don't care about relationships between celebrities, period, point blank. Whatever, however it happened, it's between God, Aaliyah, and her rested soul, and R. Kelly. I don't care about that. I was hoping to look at this movie as an inspiration to know about her. Because I can admit that I am a fan of Aaliyah. And granted, I was probably a little girl when she was alive. But still, I was hoping to learn about her legacy and her career. And you fucked it up for the rest of the people. Not even just the young generation that I want to know about her. But you fucked it up for people that have been older fans for her. It's not about the ratings. It's the fact that you did something so cold-hearted and distasteful. And you sitting here laughing about it. Like, you practically, like, technically, we don't see it. But it's almost like you took it as a check. And you played with her life like that. That's where people was coming from. And that's why I was on Tibble Inside last night. And the memes is, was true. You discredit this woman's life and you disrespected her legacy is why everybody doesn't fucking respect you right now. I never respected you. I don't discredit your show. Good for you. But you don't, you, any type of respect that I have for this woman, even if, if even if it was like, I'm speaking so fast. Because it gets me mad and, and I know I probably, and you know, whoever watches this video, you're going to feel the same way too. Because I get mad at the fact that she could stoop this low. And all you can say, not even a sim, like, not even like a, a genuine, sincere apology to her family. You don't even give that. All you say is a funky ass, um, well, I don't care because you watched it anyway. Really? That shows your character as a person. And guess what, Wendy Williams? God don't like ugly. And you will get karma tenfold for this bullshit that you pulled last two the whole weekend. You know what? I I don't even I'm not trying to be like I don't even care at this point. Like I already didn't like her and I really can't stand her now. Like I really cannot stand I cannot fathom how much of a despicable person that she is. Like I knew she was shady and messy, but I think she was stooped that fucking long. Like I said in my first video, I Cannot even stand her. Now I know why I don't even watch her show no more. I should have. I should have knew that this. Ooh, <sighs> I'm trying to go off, y'all. I know you probably like go off, Shalon. You know you should. I mean, I'm speaking for everybody else here in this video. My arm hurts a little bit, but you know, I'm just sorry. I'm speaking my opinion, cause she's stupid as fuck. She doesn't see the point. And I can't, and there's some fans that are also missing the point. It's not about the ratings. People are, ups, 
Now, let me reiterate this again. Nobody is mad about our ratings or whatever. We are mad at the fact that she played with this movie and made a mockery of Aaliyah and also disrespected her family's wishes. And on top of that, she didn't. She came on her show. She had the she had the ball sack nerve to come on her show Monday morning and not even dare utter a simple "I'm sorry, Aaliyah's family." No, instead, what did she say? She said. Oh, well, I don't care because y'all watched anyway. Like, you're not even getting the point here? That's not a... <sighs> she... That is a shame. I've never met this woman in my life. Yet the fact that she pulled this, it just fires me up completely. Because, granted, we all... I know I can have mean moments, but I would never disrespect somebody's family wishes the way that she did. Wendy, big F you to you because that just shows what type of person you are. You have no regard for anybody else because I'm pretty sure if somebody made a video, a movie about you being a former crackhead, you wouldn't like it. Let's keep it real here. She would be fucking hitting the roof. And we talked about her cheating husband and his abusive and how her son don't like her ass. I mean, if that's the truth, I don't, I don't, I don't. We don't even like her. So I, I'm not surprised if that's really true. Your own son don't even like your shady ass. I would be embarrassed if you was my mother. And I don't even usually say things like that. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the spit. But um, I'm going to say that's all for me. And I know I'm probably going to get hate. And people are like, I don't give a fuck. I'm speaking the truth here. If you don't like it, click off the video. I don't care. And that's my two cents. And comment below, and I know some people are going to go in, and I don't blame y'all, so watch it. And, whew, I need to calm down for being mad. Just think about it, it makes me mad. Alright, bye y'all. Comment, like, and subscribe. Boop, bye. <laughs>